Okay, I'm here. William is here. Let me go to, let me see what's happening here. And then Julie, I'll bring you on. Two, okay. Hey, all right, so Melanie's here. Patty's here. William is here. So there's a choice now when you go on Zoom to Facebook. It used to be where you would go Zoom and it would take you right to Facebook. And then Facebook, you would answer these, you know, you click these particular things. Like, I'm gonna go public, I'm gonna go live, I post this stuff. Now, when you go Zoom to Facebook Live, it stays on Zoom and you answer these particular questions. Do you put it on the timeline? Do you put it on your page? And you go public. But when it goes public, it still is only allowing my friends to see it. So then tonight, it wasn't even letting me get on at all. But it's not freezing now either. So, who wants to hang out? I see someone that wants to hang out. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, and you're all welcome. Jump on. Julie Lou. Hey now. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. <laughs> oh. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Sometimes it snows in April. Only for, for sure. You. Okay. <laughs> Only for you, brother. I will sing it for you. I know. Five years. Five years since Prince left the building. Mm. And I was in New Orleans hanging out with my friends and even went to a second line. So now there are 15 people here. So, but I don't know if it's, let me see something. Yeah, I can't edit. I can't edit it to make it so it's public. Do it, do it, do it. How are you, Julie? I'm I'm okay. I'm okay. A, a little uh, a little dusty from uh, trying to help a friend uh, clean off her patio and some of her patio furniture, and came home and uh, I think I ate something. I'm I can't. Oh yes, I stopped at a uh, El Polo Loco drive-through. You know, good stuff for you. And now I'm having a cider ale. <laughs> nice, nice. So you know, sometimes you. You just got to do that long day at school. And then I thought every time you said you were freezing, it had to do with the weather. <laughs> didn't you see me freezing? <laughs> I didn't notice it. I guess I was, I don't know if I was busy reading comments or whatever and, and wondering why I didn't have biscuits to eat, but. <laughs> yeah, where are your biscuits, girl? Why didn't you stop yeah. at like Popeye's and grab some? I know. Well, you know what? Because I did not, um watch that that baking show so i was not i was not prepared it was it like carol uh carl we weren't quite prepared tonight for a few things <laughs> biscuits and wine oh lovely and then do you dunk them or just put one in your mouth and take a swallow i just i, I still have some but i have no more wine nice. uh-oh well he might have to 
you might have to do a refill like go to the we can have, wait I do so. have bottles below, like right at my knees <laughs> that's a good place are they easy easy to open and you don't have to get out a big corkscrew and go through a lot <laughs> anyway no 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 that little sip is all i needed for the night yeah. i um steve used to tease me we used to have a kind of like a running joke because we didn't we didn't drink at home um too much i mean if he was working in the yard and it was really really hot he might have a partial beer and then he'd always laugh that he was always the designated driver because i'd have a margarita when we went out so anyway but our running joke was don't ever worry honey i don't drink alone i always bring in the dog <laughs> So anyway, it was just so, kind of fun for people that really didn't drink very much. You told a story to me. You told me a story about something that someone found in their garage today. Oh, my gosh. Yes. So I have friends hmm. that live probably within um, an easy 20 minutes of your cousin, Helen. So in the foothills and um their washer and dryer are in the garage. They have like a hundred acres. They've lived up there for at least 40 years. And I go up occasionally and um, I like to walk in the early, early spring, like winter, you know, like on the cow trails and stuff, but then I stop. Well, there's a good reason that I stop. And one of the big reasons was that they just found a three foot rattlesnake in their garage um this week and had to kill it and so you know if there's one there's more and then there's babies and that's not a i i would not be real happy to want to have to go out and do my laundry i wouldn't be doing it at night for sure <laughs> well it's just not cool because that's it's that's part of the fire season morning you know when you start oh, to see yeah the rattlesnakes coming when you see them yeah. Yeah. And it's early. It's way too early. I mean, I guess anytime it, it gets over 70 degrees, we should expect something. But uh, you definitely don't uh, clamber over rocks or um, go through tall grass. When I'm you, hiking, just, you know, I'll hike, hike, hike. Oh, yeah. It was I, good. Yeah, good. it's great. And you're yeah. like, ah. yeah. Not you me. have to have tall boots and uh, a big stick. So... I don't want to. And Lily, find a so we used to we used to go on major hikes when we lived up in Mendocino County. We would go on these hikes for hours, and she would sure. just take off and 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 fly up onto these you know side of these cliffs, and then she'd race down the other. She'd just ski down, kind of sh 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 with a big old smile it's, on her face. Yeah. Like, Oh, my little girl. She's part goat. <laughs> yeah, she's like a goat. She's totally like a goat. Totally, totally, totally oh, like a goat. What a girl. So yeah, I worry about that. Uh, yeah, she won't. She, now she looks at me like, Mom, can I please get off leash? I'm like, sorry, dude. There's too many. I don't know what out there. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, because there are bears out there and mountain lions. And... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How's yeah, school? Uh, school is school is um challenging some days and easier other days um today we had a a few <laughs> i have to laugh at this one student and um kind of humorously because i work with a, a population that's um autistic and so it's challenging when you're in the seventh and eighth grade you know you're going through you're learning uh, different things um, about yourself, your, uh, the school dynamics are different, um, changing classrooms is different. And then, um, and now we have coming to school, being off school for a year, and then coming back to school a couple days a week and still doing online. So one of one of our more challenging uh, young men um was in a classroom with us today and and we were doing idioms and um uh so he, he had it he was busy with his earphones and he was playing like uh, like a mario game or whatever but this is a student that can totally act like he's not paying any attention 
And then when you ask them a question, can answer it. So it's kind of like we have to kind of pick and choose our battles sometimes. It's like, okay, might as well let you do that because as long as you get your work turned in and answer the questions, it's good to go. So better than any meltdowns because we've had meltdowns that can clear a classroom. So it's, uh, it's fun. yeah, yeah. I'm like, it's, ooh, fun, meltdowns. Yeah. Yeah, ooh, meltdowns. There's nothing like having a, a a young man several years ago that would be, he was probably a good five ten or taller, very stocky, sturdy, and come at you with the full on conference table to pin you between the conference table and a counter. So it's like, oh, those are not good days. <laughs> so anyway, but you know, sometimes when when you know, some people get a little overload, you know, we don't know what's going to, you know, set them off or trigger. And it wasn't something that I had done, but it was something that he wasn't particularly happy about. And we were in a, another classroom and, you know, something just set him off. And so, yeah, try to sidestep and get them outside to calm them down so they can collect themselves again. And sometimes you have to empty a classroom and because the student that you're dealing with is not able to calm down enough to be able to walk outside. So we've we've dealt with that, too. And then other days, they're absolutely delightful and you want to clone them. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I hear you. Yeah. It's I've worked in that population. It's it's a very right. special way to be. And um, uh -huh. and it takes someone like you. You've how long have you worked at the school? I've been at this school for 33 years. So not all, I've been in special ed all that time, um, but not the, not the whole time. Um, Standing ovation for Julie. Thanks. Not the whole time with autism. I can't remember how many years we've um, had that program on our campus, but it's, um, it's, you know, it's fun. I'd say it's, the rewards are more than, then sometimes the challenges and then sometimes the challenges can be a parent and not the student, you know, because we all want to be the best advocate for, you know, our loved one. And sometimes we might, we might get it in the way and, and cause more trouble than what's necessary. So anyway, we've, we've got them all. So what did you have for lunch today? Uh, well, believe it or not, no lunch. Um, I'm forcing myself to even think about drinking water because I have to start doing um, uh, lab work and stuff next week. So I need to be pushing water. I'm not, what I've been doing at lunch instead is walking the basketball courts for the full half an hour, just walking and walking and walking. And so I get some exercise while I'm sitting at school. But uh, so I've been doing that. And then uh, this was my, I had a, um, a chicken, a chicken guacamole burrito from El Polo Loco for dinner. Yeah. So that was nice. And then it, it came with that, like anyone really cares about this, but it came with a little cup of um, uh, pinto beans and rice. And I thought, well, I could save that for another meal. So I'll save that. Yeah, that. that's your, that's your pure, perfect protein right there. Yeah, there you go. So that'll, that can be tomorrow. Carl yeah. was just talking about he was raking leaves and he found a baby Michigan rattler had oh my it was striking at his hand. Ooh, he snatched it, showed it to Kim and then he let it go. Oh, him. and he let it go. Oh wow, what a guy. I had a dog once that got bit in the nose. Uh-huh. Right? And, and two little perfect little pink. Then we had to take him in and that was the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's a huge thing. I don't know where the where the least damage would be for a dog, you know. No, his whole face went. Oh, yeah, like I bet. Yeah. That's scary. Oh, well, I'm so glad that you didn't get any closer than that, Carl. My goodness. That's uh, just hearing about them is too close for me. You can't reason with a snake, no. you know. Yeah, I can try to talk to a dog or talk talk to a cat but you just don't reason with a snake you can't say oh you know what i'll go this way you go your way he is he is like indiana jones <laughs> rock star 
So you guys, speaking of Rockstar, last night, Grace and I stumbled upon a documentary on um, that Prime thing. I don't like to say the word because I think he's, I just don't like it, but Prime. Mary Tyler Moore documentary. Oh. Next to that, guess guess who the documentary is about? Is on. Share. No. D share. Share. There's a documentary. Oh. I'll do it. I will. I promise. I will. Wow. Yeah. There's a document. Who knew? I didn't know. That'd be fabulous. I, that's what I'm. That's I'm gonna go. And if anybody, I'm just gonna throw it out there. If anyone is thinking about coming to the show, I think there are like four tickets left. Oh, that's fabulous. Yeah, but I want more people to go. That's the thing. Yeah. The closer it gets to it, I want people to go to it. But anyway. Yeah. Well, I would love to be there if I could. Well, maybe you still can. Yeah. Yeah, if, if they find me a place to live. <laughs> Guys, anyone know anyone in Fresno that's, that has a really groovy place that that <laughs> Julie and Julie and maybe a cat? Yeah, and maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Ellen, what show? Oh, Ellen. Well, I have a show on May 7th in Berkeley at a place called The Back Room. It's a Friday, May 7th. I saw your note today. I keep everyone's notes. Everyone that sends me a note, I keep a note. I have cards, I have notes. Um, and then on June 6th in Upper Lake, I'm telling you guys, come on up to Upper Lake for the weekend. Let's hang out at the Tallman Hotel. It's gonna be fun. It's that's part due of Grace's birthday party. I really think. I really think. Come on, come on, come on to NorCal, everyone. Julie Luce. You know I know who Tallman is. I certainly do. I have touched when do you touch that have building. To be out of your place? I have to be out. I I think um maybe the week school gets out like around the 16th of June. The problem is, is I, I have to have somewhere to go or somewhere to store all of my furniture and boxes and everything, or I have no business going anywhere else until I, I get that. Storage and get on up to Upper Lake. <laughs> no, yeah. It's not that far. No, it's not that far. It's just like, I don't know, maybe four hours, four or five hours. It's just, the only thing that takes a long time is going around that lake at 35 miles an hour, right? It's a beautiful lake to drive around. Yeah, there. It is. And it, it is, uh, they're very particular. Sometimes it's 25 to 35 miles an hour. And when they've got the speed limit posted, you make sure that you follow it because um, they regulate that very well there. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so anyway, Ellen, come up. You could fly into Sacramento, rent a car, and you're there in two hours. Well, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> that would be fun. And it's the Mama Grace birthday party. I know. I'll That's be a very special occasion. Saturday, Sunday, and possibly Monday uh -huh. at the moment. And they have rooms right now. Yeah. Julie. I know I'm hearing you. <laughs> I know. Let's get been... to the Upper Lake. Has anyone besides me ever heard music at this funky little place in San Pablo on the same street as the Columbia Church called Strings? I used to sing at Strings all the time. Yeah, I used to sing at Strings all the time. Yeah, groovy live recordings. Yak, 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 girl, come on up. Joanne, get on out. Come on out to the Bay Area and let's go do, let's go do some singing. Please. Well, I have a request for a song. And I should definitely sing it before midnight. So do you want to hang out here while I sing it, Julie? Absolutely. I would be delighted to hang out while you sing. 
Yeah, strings is the bomb shit. So I will mute myself so you can't hear anything in the background, okay? Vance, you still there? Mr. Vargas, if you're here, this is for you, brother. Tracy died soon after a long-fought civil war. Just after I'd wiped away his last tear. I guess he's better off than he was before. A whole lot better off than the fools he left here. I used to cry for Tracy cause he was my only friend. Those kind of cars don't pass you every day. I used to cry for Tracy because I wanted to see him again. But sometimes, sometimes life ain't always that way. Sometimes it snows in April. Sometimes it feels so bad, so bad. Sometimes I wish that life was never ending and all good things they say never last. Springtime was always my favorite time of year. A time for lovers holding hands in the rain. A springtime only reminds me of Tracy's tears. Always cry for love, never cry for pain. He used to say so strong, unafraid to die. Unafraid of the death that left me hypnotized. Now staring at his picture, I realized no one could cry the way my Tracy cried. Sometimes it snows in April. Sometimes I feel so bad, so bad. Sometimes I wish that life was never ending. But all good things they say never last. I often dream of heaven, and I know that Tracy's there. I know he has found another friend. Maybe he's found the answer to all the April snow. Maybe one day I'll see my Tracy again. Sometimes it snows in April. Sometimes I feel so bad, so bad. Sometimes I wish that life was never ending. But all good things they say never last. But all good things they say never last. And love isn't love until it's past. Prince died five years ago today. And I don't know if many of you know, but in many places in Michigan, Ohio, and Indiana, it snowed today. 
Sometimes it snows in April, and it seems to snow on Prince's birthday almost every year since he died. Rolf and I used, Rolf and I did that when we did a Prince tribute concert. We did all Prince. We did all Prince and there were people there with their kids in the front row and I'm like, sorry, they're not my lyric. I mean, you know, some of Prince's lyrics are pretty graphic. I learned most of the music and inspiration I've ever had in my life was from my brother Nino. Joni Mitchell, James Taylor, Abby Lincoln, and Prince. And I was able to be in a room with him, in a room close twice, but I saw him, and one night I saw him in three different concerts. I saw him at the Oakland, Oakland thing, you know, what do we call it? I, they call it something else now. And then I saw him at the Fillmore after he did a two o'clock in the morning show and then we all went to a party. Prince and Michael left us way too soon. For sure. For sure. Julie, you can unmute, please. And I'm all alone here. Sorry, oh. I was, I know I was, I was like making little comments and stuff and I didn't realize I was still muted, but I didn't want to interrupt the singing and have like, you know, background noise, you know, while you're singing. So, yeah. Yeah. So was it not the Oakland Coliseum? Oh, was yeah. it? It was the Col Coliseum. Mm -hmm. And then it, this was pre cell phone. And somehow I think my friend who I was with went and checked his messages because he knew he was going to be playing somewhere. Uh -huh. Thank you, Bill. And um, he said, we're going to the Fillmore. I'm like, what? We're going to the Fillmore. Show starts at two. So we no passed it over to the city, got into the Fillmore, and the Fillmore's small compared to the Coliseum. Same band. Mm -hmm. They did a whole other thing. And then we went to a party that they played at again. And then they went somewhere else to a friend of mine's recording studio and they worked until like 11 in the morning. My goodness. And that's what he would do. And, and he did that even five and a half years ago, he played in Oakland and I saw him perform and the money that he made at these last shows, they were solo shows. He was doing um, philanthropic mm -hmm. plans all over the country, all over the world. Yeah. And he, he bought, solar panels for like 200 homes and was giving out money, you know, throughout the day with mm -hmm. a couple other people that I knew and yeah, stamina. stamina. I guess. Yeah. Yes. That man was definitely from another planet and definitely influenced all of us somehow, mm -hmm. some way. Everyone knows little red Corvette. You know, you know that song, right, Julie? Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. Um, Right. A little bit. Yeah. Um, and I was, I was amazed because it wasn't until after he passed to hear about all of his philanthropic things that he did. I mean, because he wasn't about all of it. No, you Never. would, you know, yeah. Because he wasn't showy that way. You know, his showiness was in his performance. It wasn't in boasting about himself. And so, um, you know, that was pretty cool. When Kevin Kuhn told his story about the last time he saw him at Paisley Park, uh -huh. he stayed up all night. He said, we stood until like six o'clock in the morning and got to what got to see him play. Pretty but. amazing, amazing thing. Um, and I, and I not sure if I remember this correctly or not, but was there also a, a place to perform that was, it was like the circle star theater or something was oh, sure, like sure. that? Sure. Okay. It was in the South Bay. Okay. I thought I remembered going to um, everybody played. Concert. That was one of those places that like Burt Bacharach played and then, mm -hmm. and, you know, Bette Midler. And uh -huh. I saw, I saw a lot of, um, I saw Al Jarreau there. I opened for somebody there, a couple people. I opened for Al at a different place. And then I saw him at the Circle Star also. 
Yeah, that was there up until like 90, I think. Uh huh. That was a good clip. Thanks for being here with me tonight, Julie. Well, thanks. Thanks for letting me come in all my uh, worked out in my yeah. neighbor's oh. patio. And <laughs> we need to find you a place. I know. Thank you. Well, all those positive thoughts, something's bound to turn up, yeah, right? Because lots of love we, to Julie Luce. Yeah. Well, we, now, are we there, know. Are there places near the school? Um, well, there are some places. The problem that we're finding is that there are places, but not places available. So that's, that's the biggest problem. It's you can put in 35, you pay for all of your, um, and I haven't quite yet, but you pay for your applications and then you can send in 15 applications and hear back from one. So, um, yeah, so that's kind of, you know, and you hate to be throwing away that kind of money too for, for nothing, but, um, you yeah, so you should ask the guy that's that's having you move out. Say, hey, can you pay for ten applications? I'll yeah, move out. no kidding. Yeah, you know, you're in real estate. How come you have an offer to find me a place to live? Yeah, because that's not how he works. <laughs> so anyway, but we're you know, God's got a plan, and I just have to believe that you know that all that all materialize, and it'll be in a safe place, and my granddaughters will be able to come over and and play at Nana's house again. So yeah, yeah. It'll, be even, it'll be, it'll be better. It's going to be yeah. better. Well, whatever it'll be, it's going to be different. <laughs> and, then you, and then you need to unpack those other boxes so they can see. Oh, the stuff. Like, my, my, my. If you have now, and then open up the other boxes and be like, look at all this other cool stuff. Right? Yeah. Wouldn't that be something? Look, Charlie, here's things you used to play with when you were three years old. <laughs> and books oh kids books that i have that they haven't seen yet so oh well we'll get there jenna we'll get there yeah yeah we will yeah Thank you, Julie. all Thank right you. thanks for having me on big Thank hugs to mama grace before. yeah give lillian a hug too well, i'm gonna give her a bath <laughs> she doesn't know it yet. she's gonna get a she's gonna go for a walk and then we're gonna get a bath mm, that'll be nice and warm bubbles <laughs> Oh, she always gets bubbles. Nice. Very nice. Really, and gets like the whole, yeah. Yeah, she's already, she had a mani-pedi today. Oh, wow. Very she, nice. Don't too much information. She had a mani-pedi booty today. Oh, there you go. Yeah, we know exactly what that is. <laughs> Anybody that's had dogs knows what that means. <laughs> she's got a mani-pedi. My mom, neither one of us have had a mani-pedi in like a year and you know, <laughs> some change and Lillian's like rocking them every month. Yeah, there you go. She well, like Barbara Streisand. I bet she does. Really? Okay. All right. Well, thank you everyone um, for listening to me ramble once again and have a wonderful evening. Thank you, Julie Luce. Uh -huh. Good night. Bye. Bye. That ace. Yeah. Oh, yes, I will. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. What is that? A friend worked for a record distributor, got all the LPs for free. Wow. Yeah, he was. Yeah. He was in our, in college, he was in our bathroom. Like, my roommates were huge Prince fans. And I was too, but I didn't have posters of him. But then I had posters in, his, in the bathroom. And I remember my parents coming up and my dad's like, oh, okay. You know, who's who's the dude in the panties in your bathroom. Oh, that's Prince. He knew who it was. Prince. Kids, I'm out. It's midnight. I'm going to go walk my dog and then I got to give her a bath. Peaceful thoughts. Prince filled words. Powerful purple heart. Big hug. I sure hope that the show was for everyone. And if it's not, I have to go in now and undo all that stuff. But all things purple. Go play some prints right now. I'm going to. Can't do it online or they'll kick me off. But I can do this. Thanks for being here tonight on. Oh.
Thanks, Carol. You have a wonderful night, too. Good night, Bill. Thank you again. Thank you, Patty. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Carol. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Gina. Thanks. Really cool. Stay safe. Be well. Stay healthy. Stay healthy. Drink more water. Good night. Love hard. Really hard.